I had always imagined having a family. I had imagined, you know, maybe two or three kids. Again, this is the part of the issue around being attached to any specific outcome. Because he is palliative, it's really important for me to just stick to right now and what's happening right now. And I know that it's still playing out though, the what if, what if I lose him? And I find myself sometimes I spiral into a sort of a dark place. But for the most part, I am living by the concept of there's no better time than the present. I just felt from the beginning, we need to build him up and strengthen him physically. And he's been going to the Napa Center. Everyone there is positive, everyone there is hopeful, everyone there can see the possibility. They also come from a growth mindset. I feel like I've had to throw the rule book out with him. When you have a baby, people buy you this book called What to Expect When Expecting. And I remember one day I had it in the car, driving to and from the hospital in my apartment. And I was so angry. I like wound down the window on the M4 and I threw the book out of the car. That's all the milestone markers and all the things that, you know, you should expect with a normal, neurotypical child. And I just thought, expect the unexpected. The premise is to not be attached to the fact that he didn't walk when he was one. Because again, we're living in this limitation, this world of lack. Out of us, man. Far out. We did it. High five. High five. All right. Thank you. At the beginning, we were having these weekly family meetings to talk about where are we at? Do we need to like maybe pull back on care? Do we need to take him to Bear Cottage? They kept trying to push Bear Cottage at the beginning as an end of life care facility. And I was so adamant, not because of Bear Cottage, but because of what it meant. Fast forward to the end of 2016, I get diagnosed with cancer. I went to the children's hospital at Westmead and I said, look, I've been given this diagnosis. I was talking to the social worker and I just said, I don't know what to do with Alexander. And they were the ones who sort of put, put it in motion like, okay, like just take him to Bear Cottage. I had to leave him there to go and have surgery and the nurses were so lovely and they ended up delivering Alexander home to me because I couldn't drive and people donate so much stuff to Bear Cottage and it was just like this outpouring of love from people I'd never met before. 